All right, today I'm going to teach you how to solve this kind of progression questions because a lot of students when come into progression, right, they, they tend to use the formula given. But, but because in this question, you do not know is whether this is geometry progression or arithmetic progression. So what we will do is we will just use the SN formula given here. But the problem is this question doesn't ask you to find the sum of first n term. This question actually asks you to find the fifth term. So you need to know how to find the fifth term over here. So what I will do is, in order to find the fifth term, t5, I will do s5 minus s4. Yeah, but some students might ask me, why will you do s5 minus s4? But because you, when you do the s5 here, you're actually doing like from t1 plus t2 plus t3 plus t4 plus t5. This is what happened for s5, right? From first term sum until the fifth term. But when you do the s4, it's first term plus second term plus third term plus up to fourth term. So you imagine if from the first term to the fourth term, all I minus them out, I only left the fifth term, isn't it? This is the reason why if I want to find the fifth term using the Sn, I can always do something like S5 minus S4. If you understand this concept, the rest will be very easy. You just need to sub the 5 into the equation at, uh, Sn here, sub into N, and then you sub the 4 into the n here. So this is what I will do, which is 5 over 2, and then 3, 5, plus 1, minus, I sub the 4 into here with 4 over 2, and then 3, 4, plus 1. So this one will be equals to 5 over 2. Uh, this is 15, will be 16. And then minus, this one will be 2. This is 12, 13. Then I will cancel it out. This is 8, will give you 40 minus 26. So the final answer will be just 14. Yeah, I think the important concept here is just the T5 equals to S5 minus S4. Just make sure you guys understand about this concept. This kind of question will be very easy for you.